going to change the lives of so many people across the globe. Even in the UK, we are not immune. It's a conflict of interest. It's public health versus corporate profit. It's a big deal. There is more carbon out there that can be burned. And at some point, the carbon bubble will be hot. This is a planetary emergency. We have a vital role to play. Unless there's political pressure to change, nothing will change. I feel concerned when I think about climate change and the impact it could have on us. If we're thinking about the direct effects, that's things like floods, storms, heat waves, bushfires and droughts. As temperatures slowly start to rise, glaciers start to melt, sea levels rise, it has a knock-on effect on the weather systems that are usually quite stable. I'm incredibly anxious because the, the size of the problem is just you know incomparable to the things that our predecessors have faced. What we're mainly facing in the UK is the shifting of the Gulf Stream which will make the temperature systems that we're used to increasingly unstable, more extreme weather, much more floods than we've seen already every summer, these massive flooding plains in southern England having big effects on, on trauma and injuries, people coming to A&E, but also mental health. Not to mention things like heat waves that particularly influence the elderly and other people with, with vulnerabilities. What people often don't realise so much is some of the less direct effects that it can have. Then you've got even more complex links and the impact those have on both physical and mental health. Fossil fuels have a very direct and seriously scary effect on health. We're already seeing the effects through all the emissions that get released into our air that we breathe on a daily basis. The way we currently generate energy results in heart disease, asthma, COPD, all kinds of diseases. Altogether we're talking about six months of life from every single one of us, including me and you. Quite a high price to pay for a bit of cheap fuel. At first I used to be quite terrified. I still am quite nervous about how we will be affected by climate change, particularly as we don't seem to be doing enough. As a future doctor, I feel I have a duty to help protect the health of current and future generations. I feel mostly quite sad because I think it's going to change the lives of so many people across the globe and I also feel sad because I think it's a huge injustice and sometimes it's overwhelming. There are no borders with this. disasters has more than tripled since the 1960s. Everyone agrees that we need to cut greenhouse gas emissions and transition to a low carbon economy. Even the most conservative governments agreed to limit global warming to 2 degrees Celsius and to aim for 1.5. Based on the evidence, we're not acting fast enough. And the question is why?
once you know that the major fossil fuel companies have more than five times what it is at all safe to burn to give us a chance to have a stable climate, then you know what's got to be done. We have to try and keep at least 80% of those reserves in the ground and we have to shift the entire expenditure of our economy, our finance into renewable fossil free alternatives. So the average Londoner that I speak to, especially the average student, says, I understand there's climate change happening, I understand it's human-induced climate change, I understand that it's the fossil fuel companies and our own burning that's involved in, in driving climate change, but what can we do about it? I mean, you know, I recycle, what, what does that make? You know, there's a space where you can involve your communities, institutions you're part of, to make a change that can filter upwards. I'm a public health researcher. I'm a health economist. I'm a final year medical student. I'm a dietitian. I'm an environmental campaigner. I'm a junior doctor. I'm a nurse. And we're calling on health institutions to divest from the top 200 fossil fuel companies to protect global health. Fossil Free Health is a group started by MedAct and Healthy Planet UK. And it was a small group of health students and health professionals who really wanted to kickstart the conversation around divestment within the UK health community. We started off researching what the current investments were, uh, current policies and who we might be able to influence and wrote a report called Unhealthy Investments which tries to make the case for divestment. Divestment is a political strategy that's trying to stigmatise the fossil fuel industry because they have shown themselves incapable of dealing with this crisis. It's been used in the past as a strategy by the health profession against um, tobacco and the tobacco industry because it doesn't really make sense for organisations supposed to promote health to be investing in tobacco. In the same way, by shifting our money and our investments away from fossil fuels, we basically can see a whole load of health co-benefits. For example, by getting onto bikes or walking more, we can help people to stay active and healthy for longer, and we also reduce emissions. There's so much that we could be doing and we are doing. So on the one hand, incredibly anxious, on the other hand, incredibly optimistic. There are strange bedfellows together in, in this campaign. So, you know, the, the maybe typical grassroots um, environmental activists, but also some quite serious voices from the financial community, including, you know, head of the Bank of England. Leading health experts are on the same side as faith and business leaders, as well as cities and councils across the globe. Internationally, we're linked up with other grassroots groups and health organisations also calling Divestment. Everybody's got their day job, as it were. You know, if one's at a hospital, your job is to treat the people that the ambulance brings to the door. But we're also all citizens of our various communities, and we have to take responsibility for those institutions behaving ethically in ways that really matter. What are the campaigns I better have to support in this in the campaign to divest? Now is the time when we have to stand up and be heard. We held quite a few meetings and Skype calls. We lobbied investment committees. We went to climate demonstrations and we got out in the streets as part of the fastest growing divestment movement in history. In the UK now this road industry Pollutes our water and the air we breathe. Tell me what you need. I am a trainee in psychiatry in Paris. We're here from Healthy Planet in the UK. We as doctors and medical students and nurses and physiotherapists, we need to speak out against this and let people know the system is affecting our health. We don't know what the outcome of this is going to be, but we can raise the odds precipitously if we each do our part in a serious way. We had a big win with the British Medical Association voting at their annual conference to divest. They were followed by the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine, 
the Royal Australasian College of Physicians and the Canadian Medical Association to date. But this really is just the start. We want to see UK health institutions like the Faculty of Public Health, the Medical and Nursing Royal Colleges and global health charities using their weight to challenge the power and the social license of the fossil fuel industry. We're still waiting for the next, next win. In general, I would say, you know, the vast majority of people want to see a future that is safe for them, their kids and their kids' kids. Almost certainly the most effective health intervention we could make in the world is to get off fossil fuels. Time is running out and we really have to act now. We need climate policies to put public health above corporate profit. Creating awareness of the links between climate change and health is a start, but we need to do much more than that. We have to change our energy systems. We have to get out of our comfort zones. We have to act collectively before it's too late. But first, we need to call on our institutions to do no harm. 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 Climate, it's a change.